For 112 years, the Army and Navy Academy in Carlsbad has housed thousands of cadets. But throughout the Academy's long history, a woman has never been president. Until retired U.S. Army Major General Peggy Combs took on the job. I, you know, I just believe that the school is definitely moving towards the future. Um, it, it has nothing to do with, like I said, it, I, that of my gender. It's just the experience um, that I bring uh, to the school in character, leader development, um, you know, and, and just training and education. Combs served in the Army for over 30 years, is a two-star general, and has worked with thousands of ROTC students nationwide. The opportunity to work with the boys at the Army and Navy Academy took her out of retirement in Florida and brought her to Carlsbad. The boys are, are uh, they are just, first of all, they're, they're very dedicated, you know, to being great. And, and that's exciting to see. And all of the potential that's on this campus, it's, it's, just, it's just wonderful. Since her arrival, Combs said students and staff have welcomed her with open arms. David Rohr is a cadet captain at the academy. She's uh, incredibly interactive with all the students. Um, having a one-on-one -on -one with her was probably the most eye-opening thing for me because I had a chance to really see her experience and see um, how, how well she wants the kids to do. The boarding school houses boys from 7th to 12th grade and prepares them for college. But Combs says, contrary to belief, the academy goes beyond the military school label. You know, most people when they think of military schools think of, you know, maybe full metal jacket or some, some you know, uh, tearing people down to build them up. That's not what we do here. It, it is a element of structure and, and, um, and all of that kind of comes together. De La Proto is a senior and battalion commander. Huge impact on me because of uh, discipline. Um, they have changed me, um, the way I operate every single day focus in school and actually do my work because you have to do it. It's, it's Sullivan Adams last year at the academy. He's currently a command sergeant major. He says the school helped him discover what he wants to do next in life. Thing to go to the University of Wyoming to study in astrophysics or perhaps go to the Naval Academy. Really? I have been very interested in uh, leadership and in physics, so maybe a combination of the two. While Combs has only held the role for a few weeks, she's excited about what's to come. Our boys are our future, and to have just a small role in impacting the future, you know, of our great nation, um, one boy at a time, I just think is pretty special. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.